What's going on YouTube? How we doing? So as you know, I have put this uh, Kenwood stereo in the car and uh, this was something that I wanted to do for a good while. Sorry about that mess. Um, anyways, this is the uh, Kenwood DMX 1037S right here. We're gonna go ahead and start the car. I'm gonna show you how fast it actually boots up. Sorry for all the racket. That's my security system. So, right now, we got the home screen. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for y'all so you can actually see some of this. All right, so this is your main home screen. This is a HD radio. You've got wired or wireless Android Auto. So I could come over here and hit that and it's gonna connect to my phone momentarily wirelessly and we'll have our wireless android auto which i love simply for the fact that i hate having something wired to my phone all the time can't play no music because you know that's copyright but you got your screens there your directions what music you've got playing if you want a full map you can touch your map you know want your full phone touch your phone YouTube music, go out here, gives you your three screens again. When you go to your home of the main radio, you can see, gives you your tire pressure if you want. You know, you can got your fan controls for your uh, climate control, plus any music you got, plus the screen in the background. You can change this to a compass if you'd like, or equalizer, weather. Um, or multiples depending on what you want to look at So I think that's a really great feature. Of course you have the time automatically updated It does have Apple CarPlay if you're an Apple enthusiast as well um, So you do have that Coming over here gives your main screen if you want to do more you can go voicemail or whatever you want to go home can also hit over here to bring you to your main Kenwood stereo where you can do the Sirius XM uh, I actually have that on order the component to have it uh, to wire it up because my car does have Sirius XM you know if you got your iPod you could do that your AVN HDMI if you want to play something via USB you can connect it down there uh, you get any of your vehicle info so like if you want to pull that up gives you your battery voltage you got your tire pressure and the tire temperature on each one if you have a check engine light this will come up here you can tap it and you can get some information about what's going on with your uh, engine of course you can change your door alerts check engine alerts TPMS unit and all that stuff uh, change your driver position if you're an overseas or whatnot really feature ridden in that regard gonna go back to our home again and also one of my favorite things well there's several favorite things but you can do Bluetooth streaming if you don't have Android Auto connected as well go over here to your gauges you can get your uh, speedometer gear or your tachometer gauge you can get your miles per hour the load on the vehicle intake air temperature and the amount of fuel in your tank on the second screen you got your zero to 60 speed your braking for miles per hour a quarter mile you know just pretty pretty neat stuff that that's nice to be able to see if you want to see it this feature ridden you don't have to see it but sometimes i leave it up there just to look at it my favorite thing about this radio is I travel probably 200 to 300 miles daily. So for me, infotainment and having things handy is extremely important to me. Um, like if I'm sitting at, at lunch, which might be in the middle of nowhere, you know, I might want to watch a movie. Well, I can come over here and I can go to wireless mirroring 
and on my Samsung I'm gonna go to Dex which is just Samsung Dex um, just go in there and type in Dex and we'll start Dex on our phone and it's just gonna look like that and we'll hit start Dex and momentarily we'll find the display and we'll go ahead and start it once it connects gives just a second I accidentally turned it off. Sorry, I gotta reconnect it. I set the phone down and bumped it. Alright, so we're gonna reconnect here. And now we have the phone. You know, I don't need my phone anymore. Now I can come over here if I want. If I wanted to see everything on my phone, I can touch my corner icon here, my grid. And now everything on my phone is on there. So if I wanted to go to Facebook, which I'm not signed in, but you know, instead of Xing and out of it. And I went to Facebook. You know, I can go in there and do Facebook. I can expand it out if I want. But for me, big thing is I can come over here and go to YouTube and if I want to watch a YouTube video you know I could just come over here and click a video and up comes my video if I wanted to watch it on a full screen I could just come over here and tap this little button at the corner if I could get it try not to block the camera and I can go into a full view and come back if I'm done watching I'll just hit that back arrow and then I can close it out and I can scroll through whatever videos I want and watch whatever I want or I could come over here and go back and like say I wanted to go to Netflix then I could come over here wherever my Netflix is if I can find it of course now I can't find it but we'll just say okay we'll just go to voodoo so then I can go to voodoo where I have hundreds of movies and go to my home and go to my library and go to my movies okay and then okay so I wanted to watch uh, whatever plane can't really start it because it's, again it's copyright but I can just show you like if you tap it you can go in there and you can go in you select HD and then it'll go ahead and play your movie might take it a minute and then your movie I have the sound off so you can't see it but it'll go ahead and it'll play your movie which for copyright reasons I, I can't you know show you the movie but because I make money off of these videos but it's just pretty cool that you can do all that same thing with Netflix you can log into your Netflix account or your Disney account and you can go in there and you can watch whatever you want so it makes it really nice another really great feature and you could you pretty much access any app from your phone I'm gonna exit out of uh, Dex right now and we're going to exit Dex. Also, what's really cool is with this Kenwood receiver, I've got this uh, Kenwood Full HD dash cam. And essentially, 
it's got a built-in mic and recording and all that good stuff I mount this to my window run this trim down around through here and down behind my radio this goes into the actual dash cam port that goes back into the plugs into the back of the Kenwood radio and then you have your ground constant and accessory wire and you just wire them right into the back of the wiring harness on the radio and then this is constantly powered all the time and you have a dash cam and you can pull it up on the screen and you have a full HD picture uh, for your dash cam now this is a uh, HD screen and that is a 1080 dash cam so you know it's gonna be as clear as it can be um, I wish it was 4k but basically this is the best option with this head unit if I didn't have this head unit I could do other things now they do have uh, an interesting dash cam that I came across that functions let me see if I can't zoom this out I'm gonna try to show y'all there's a company that I came across and they actually put your like it replaces this piece right here and your dash cam is built into there so I've, I've reached out to them to see if, if they maybe want to send me something and I would give that a try um, just because I love the idea of not having anything stuck to the windshield and it just look clean and factory spec and everything so there is that sorry for moving um, this camera cost you about 200 bucks, 169, $200, and it does have a uh, lane departure warning, collision avoidance, it makes you know some racket, it's pretty easy setup once you turn it on through the radio interface. Um, the buttons on the cam are the power button, the auto button. You do have a record button that you can hit right on the bottom if you just wanted to, you know, you were passing by something and you needed to record it. And you also have your audio file. And all of this can be viewed from the phone or from your computer. So pretty cool. If you are interested, again, that's the DMX 1037S radio. Uh, it'll run you about 1200 bucks but it does have a lot of good features and functions if you're you know end of the car audio infotainment type stuff it's a really good uh, option it fits most cars pretty well uh, I still it does adjust up and down with the screen height so you can avoid your controls if you want it does tilt forward and back it is a floating panel so you do have good options there with your glare or whatever you might be trying to do so if you're interested you know I got this from Crutchfield it's not sponsored video I paid for it uh, but it's a great place to start in the infotainment uh, you know segment of your vehicle all this dash kits and all that to mount this are available from Crutchfield. You do need a uh, vehicle, uh, a modified vehicle, in, you know, integration system to keep your steering wheel controls. Like if I hit the volume on my steering wheel, you know, I can go up or down here or my tracks whatever I want to change it's still adjusted to there so there is a, an additional component to that so if you're looking and doing something like this and keeping your steering wheel controls uh, if you want to move your climate controls to this which you can do that as you can see I've got my fan speed right there it's set to automatic right now um, you can go ahead and do that all from this unit uh, 
I will say though, you've got $1,200 or so in the radio. The Majesto uh, in, uh, integration system is like a little box and that'll run you about $200 and then you have your uh, Majesto harnesses for the radio and for the unit that's gonna run you maybe 50 60 bucks and then you'll have like this big black piece of trim that goes all across there uh, that kit with the mounting hardware that's 150 bucks so just be prepared to know that you're gonna put some money in the having a good quality system. One of the other things that I definitely want to point out is this makes your radio sound so much better. When you go into, and I have the radio turned down, I believe. I thought I had it muted. But when you're going in there and you are changing like your audio settings and whatnot, I mean, you can set this thing up to pick out what size car you're in, SUV, what size speakers, where they're located in the door, all the way from your highs, mids, tweeters, subs if you have them, amplifiers. I mean, it, you could go so deep with this or you can make it so simple. Of course, I have factory stereo speakers, so I just modified the easy way but it definitely makes the system sound a ton better being able to utilize some of these um like the bass boost the supreme sound realizer um drive equalizer i mean there just makes it real simple to make the factory speaker sound a whole lot better and i mean it goes so much more involved than that but unless you have you know an external amp subs and and like you're doing all that you really don't need all that unless you want it but just an example i figured i'd throw it out there so if you want to check this out you can look at it on crutchfield.com i'm sure amazon probably has it um again this is the kenwood dmx 1037s uh again it's about twelve hundred dollars or so maybe a little more maybe a little less depending on where you get it and to do a complete install in the car um with the majesto uh vehicle system plan on spending you know sixteen seventeen hundred dollars to integrate that into your vehicle um if you have a, like the factory unit or just something that's kind of dumbed down but yeah Guys, if you have any questions about this unit or want some more information on it, by all means, put it in the comments below. Um, do me a favor, hit that like button, share the video. I uh, just kind of wanted to show this. I know we did the installation video, but I kind of wanted to show you, like, you know, what it what it's like in the car. And I've been using this now for about uh, 10 days, and it's just it's been wonderful. I'm so glad to have this in there. It makes a world of difference, and. If the uh, company, I reached out to them for the dash cam for that fits in like the, the factory. If they agree to send me a unit, then we'll do an unboxing installation video. And it's almost, you won't even really be able to tell that it's non-factory. Uh, so if they don't want to do that, then I'll make a video doing hooking up the Kenwood uh, dash cam and we'll go and then I'll show you how it integrates with this system and whatnot. But Thanks for watching. Thanks for being the best part of the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.